tastes like Welford. Good morning, everybody. Mark Miller, Wisco Land Clearing. Doing my thing today. Uh, it's like six o'clock in the morning, Thursday, getting towards the end of May. And uh, I haven't made a video in a while. Been really busy with uh, just a lot of stuff uh, and stuff outside of work, too. Um, so, like right now, I'm dealing with dealing with puppies. Uh, so we've got like two big projects going on right now <clears throat> and uh, had a couple people like take off for vacation last week and in the middle of that we had two dozers both with radiators out of them being worked on they were just they were plugged up and the machines were overheating and uh, that had me pretty busy so I haven't really had a lot of time to make a video and I just wanted to catch up with you guys and show you what, like, or kind of tell you what's going on um but anyway <clears throat> my wife had to uh have a quick surgery um tuesday today's what thursday so tuesday she had a surgery so i've been back and forth home to work you know helping her with that and stuff as much as i can and then taking care of these eight puppies right here uh she's been dealing with these things for the past i think they're six weeks this week now so six weeks and uh, I've had my hands full. I haven't had a lot of time to make a video. And no, if you guys don't see me put a video up, it's because there's a lot going on. So, um, but anyway, I want to at least do something real quick and show you guys, you know, what's going on and update you guys on everything. But um, <clears throat> one of the projects that we're working on right now, I'm like super excited about. It's not like the biggest job that we've ever done. It's like 35 acres. Uh, it'll be another subdivision. And I bid on that subdivision through another fairly large grading company and they didn't get the job and uh, they kind of led me to believe that they had the job that I was going to be doing it. So I kind of put it on my schedule to be doing it and then come to find out another company got it. And the positive part about that is the other company that got it is a really large grading company. And, um, I just can't put in words how excited I am about that because that opportunity to start doing work for that grading company. Um, and if you guys haven't already figured it out, you'll see, you'll see pretty soon. So, um, but anyway, I'm, I'm super excited about that because the, the volume of work that they do, um, it's going to change the game for Winsco. So, um, I'm pretty excited about that. A lot more stuff coming up. So getting these dozers back up and going, uh, haven't bought any new machines yet. Um, seems like every month or every mo other month I'm buying a, another machine. But um, anyway, just working, just uh, keeping machines running. And uh, oh, the new 550 that we just got, it's been in an accident. The, uh, the side of the cab has been smashed in on the passenger side. Uh, nobody was hurt. And uh, so we've been working out of my F-350 Platinum truck, my personal truck. It's got a welder in the back of it and everything. Um, that has not been very fun. It's been very inconvenient to work out of that too. So um, and the reason why we were working out of that and not the other 550, which is the older 550, the, I say the older one, it's the 19. Um, that one's been down for about a week because uh, it's got about 85,000 miles on it now and warranty's about to go out and of course the DPF filter got clogged up and the truck was running like crap and um, we were trying to like tow a gooseneck down to Columbia and I think we were 40 miles an hour at best or something and it was trying to regen and it couldn't do it and blah 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 and what it was going to cost to fix the DPF filter versus just deleting the truck and doing all that fun stuff. And of, co of course, warranty wasn't gonna cover it either. So um, it was like, why am I not deleting this truck because of warranty when they're not even gonna cover the freaking worst part about it. But um, so we got that done. Sounds a little better. Uh, the employees are excited about that. I'm just kind of like, whatever, it's still a work truck. Um, we did, a, let's say we did a four inch exhaust on that and uh egr delete i put a cold air intake on it just so i could be a cool kid like everybody else that has those things and then uh um i think it's like a sct tune that's on it or something but i told the shop i said i just want the most basic lowest horsepower tune you can do on this thing i really just want it deleted i don't i don't want to like do a high horsepower thing 
like my first diesel truck i did a i had a 2001 duramax i was so excited to have the thing and uh it looked like a grandpa owned it had 277,000 miles on it um it was a super clean truck it was bone stock nothing was done to it it ran perfect i get it i put a efi live tuner on it and exhaust and blah 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 and i smoked the transmission out of that thing in a week so i was like yeah we don't we don't need to be hot rodding this thing so needless to say it's like about a 30 horsepower increase uh, i think it's like 60 foot pounds more and uh it just it runs really good now and we're gonna keep it that way so that truck is almost paid for and that's why i want it to be nice and taken care of so anyway let me flip the camera at least you guys can see the puppies instead of my ugly face so. yeah now you're behaving for the camera see the past like 15 minutes before i started making this video they're running around biting me on the feet and stuff while i was kind of trying to clean out their box thing here I'll show you guys how big these things are there's six weeks. Here's the, you know, that's, that's my hand right there. So this guy is, he's pretty big. That's all the way there. Oh, you're tired now because you just ate 14 pounds of food. bunch of brats but anyway so that's been the fun this morning drinking coffee taking care of puppies and uh that's about it so probably time to cut the grass again too with all this wonderful rain we've been having can't wait to put that back on the road we've been getting the semi uh the peterbilt been getting the engine rebuilt on it um it's taking a little longer than we expected but um it's pretty rough inside we thought we had a blown head gasket on it and it was just way worse than that like no compression and just all kinds of it's just like oh let's just throw an in frame in it so and then while we're at it we're just going to go ahead and do a uh do the transmission on it too i figured we'll just put a new clutch in it and um make sure all the gears are good on it and everything's nice and tight because if it's down now i don't i don't want to go back down again so um i just want to get it over with so just bite the bullet now so i'm excited about it though because um i just got done talking about tuning and deleting a truck and not being too much horsepower but the peterbilt is going to get some horsepower so um and it needed it because that big old truck it's double frame you know four axles 18 speed all that good fun stuff and it's got a C15 CAD in it. It's a 2007, so it's an A-cert C15. And um, for whatever reason, they spec that truck out as heavy as they did, and they put a 475 horse engine in it, which to me was, I don't know, didn't make sense. So, and you could tell too. I mean, yeah, it would pull some heavy weight, but um, you know, as soon as you start hitting some hills or something, it it wasn't taking it. So, um, we ordered. Uh, what was it a 16 to 1 compression uh pistons we got um the big marine cam for it the 800 horse marine cam got a uh, bigger injectors for it um got a stage two cylinder head for it with some bigger exhaust ports and things like that um the really big thing about that engine is going to be uh we're uh it's a it's a acert c15 we're converting the compounds down to a big single and it's a stage two single turbo so that'll be bigger than what a regular single single turbo should have been um that's i guess like what they say is that's basically converting it back to uh like a six nz which are the engines that you can <clears throat> apparently you can get a lot of horsepower out of them but um so i'm pretty excited about that oh and i got a what was the other thing i got for it uh, it'll be all new water pump, new oil pump. It's like a full rebuild kit. You know, everything, everything basically except like the crank or something. So, um, but that thing's going to be, that'll be pretty fun. That's going to be a pretty fast truck. So, uh, a lot of power there, but, um, oh, and I got a, what was it called again? A fast fuel lift system. It's like 200 and 
90 gallons per hour. It's like the dual filter fuel system you put on the side of the frame rail and stuff. So I figured just add a little extra juice to it. So pretty excited about that. And um, I don't know when it's gonna be done. I'm hoping probably maybe in like a couple weeks or so, we should be able to get it back on the road. But been working on that. And that's why our little boy's been sitting and we've been paying to get all of our equipment moved. And um, they've been giving us a really good deal though. So I am not complaining about that. They've been helping us out tremendously. And we've been doing work for this. Uh, it's a, one of the grading companies that we do work for. Um, we've been kind of basically having them move all of our equipment. It kind of helps them keep their guy busy too, moving equipment and stuff. So it's been a, been a help for the both of us, but um, it's good to have people to team up with like that for sure. So it's very helpful, but anyway, um, I'm gonna go back to being a being a husband and being a father and taking care of my wife and kids. Today is, no, yesterday was their last day of school. So now I'm staying home from work today, taking care of my wife because she's really not feeling too well. And then I'm gonna have to chase the three kids around. So I guess I'm gonna get to feel what it's like to be her for a day instead of being out working on machines. And I love my kids to death, but I probably would prefer putting a radiator in the front of a dozer than trying to manage three kids all day. I don't have that to, that's a skill that I was not trained for. My wife does a great job at it and she can, she can keep doing it too. So I can come home, grab them, take them to 7-Eleven, get a Slurpee and they like that and it's easy, but the all day thing, my wife used to be a school teacher and, uh, when I first met her, she was working at a daycare for several years, so uh, she's definitely got the patience for that, and, and that takes a very special person. So I don't think I could be a teacher either because, um, I don't know, people don't like criticism, so. Yeah, it's funny. These things I'm sitting here, sitting here cleaning these things up and cleaning the box out this morning feeding them on over here and like they're tripping me i'm walking all over the place trying to clean up after them talking about watching three kids that was like watching eight kids this morning not one of them speaks english or listens and biting me i'm i'm I think i'm bleeding right now and they, those little things no other it's no wonder the mother doesn't want to feed them because when they bite it hurts and i don't need to break that down anymore so but anyway, this is our last week with them and they can go somewhere to all their homes across the country that these people have been calling us about. So, you know, more power to you and uh, get them out of my house. That's what I think. So we've got people coming from, I think, uh, Texas. I think somebody's coming from New York and then some local people. And I don't remember where else, but like people wanting to buy these dogs. It's a European Great Dane. I think we have... I don't want to misspeak. I think we have three left out of the eight that haven't sold yet, but it's like, this is their six week. So this is like the week that they can leave. So, um, we already basically sold the five of them before it was time for them to go. So, um, it's fun and they're, they're cute, but, um, you know, everything in moderation as they say. So, um, yeah, I'm going to stop stalling now and I'm going to get back in the house and I'm going to do my thing. And uh, we will be making some more videos. We actually got some really cool videos coming up pretty soon. Um, there'll be some drone footage in those. Uh, one of them was like a, a Publix that's coming into town that we did. And we didn't clear it, we just ground it up. And then um, what's the other one that we're, it's a big one in Lyman that we're doing. It's like 61 acres. Um, I think we've got some video of that. So we'll have some more cool videos coming out for that stuff too. But anyway, it's been fun guys. And, uh, leave some comments if you got questions about what's going on. And I think the rain's coming. So I'll see y'all later. Have a good one.